I see builders spending incredible amounts of money having their instrument panel professionally built. And sometimes I think it's because they think they can't do it themselves or it's too complicated. This week, let's take a look at how easy it can be to install a communications radio in your panel and do it yourself and not screw it up. One suggestion I would like to make is to choose a communication radio that is round and will fit in a standard two and a quarter inch panel hole. If you've ever wondered what the radio looks like behind the panel, let's take a look. And there it is. What's really nice is there are only two connections on the back. One for the antenna and one for everything else. One reason I like the round radio is that those four screws provide all of the support mechanically necessary to hold this. There are no brackets or gussets needed. The four screws have more than enough strength to support this on your panel. If you went with a rectangular communication radio, oftentimes they require you to build either a tray or other metal structure because of the bending moment they have because they're long and narrow. It's just not as easy as mounting a round one. But that's a personal choice. There are at least four popular manufacturers of radios that fit the bill with the round radio form. MGL, Flightline, this is a Flightline I have here, XCOM, and Becker. All of them produce a form factor of a radio that will fit into a standard opening and mount with four screws at the corner. So let's look at what it takes to get these two connections hooked up because the rest is just the four mounting screws in the corner. Here is the part for the antenna. It is just a BNC connection. You can buy these cables pre-built with the connector on the end, so all you have to do is press it on to the back of the radio connection and twist. The other end of this cable goes to your antenna. The real fun begins when you have to figure out how to wire a plug that goes to the other connection with all of those wires. Now remember, what we have coming out of here is of course our power and ground, but then we have all of the jacks for our headsets. We have a pilot and co-pilot uh, microphone, and then a pilot and co-pilot speaker, or that, that's in their headset. So basically, a connection for the microphone and speaker for two people, maybe more, and then we need a push to talk line so that when we hit the stick button we transmit and we might also want some audio to play or music so we need another jack for that so how do we wire up a plug with all of those connections well actually it's very simple you simply need to purchase the pre-built cable that comes with your particular radio and it makes it really nice. Let's take a look. Here it is. Now this may look like a mess, but it's not. This is an example of a cable that you purchase. Comes with three feet of length, which is typically enough for most situations. You can also have these custom made, but let's say you go with the three footer. What that gives you is a plug on one end, which you simply plug in to your radio and you're done. That's pretty easy. At the other end of this cable, it's going to be very obvious. We have four jacks. These are already pre-wired. There's no connecting or soldering that you're going to do. 
There's two for the pilot and two for the co-pilot. It's your job to drill a hole in your panel and mount these. They come with a fiber washer to keep them insulated from a metal panel, but that's all you have to do is drill a hole, insert these, and twist the lock nut on. That's pretty much it for the headset. You got two wires, one goes to your 12 volts, this is the power for your radio, and a ground of course. And then there's one loose wire for the push to talk, here it is, for the push to talk for your microphone. That's pretty simple. And then for music, they provide a pre-wired jack with a mini plug that you can plug your iPod into to play music. My point is, is that this is all pre-wired, no soldering. You just plug it in and mount the other ends. You are ready to go. It could not be easier to install your own communications receiver in your aircraft and the magic is in purchasing the pre-wired cable. All of the manufacturers provide this because they know that it takes a lot of time to wire this. And here's a little secret. If you pay a professional installer to install your communications radio, guess what they're going to purchase because they're no dummies. They're going to purchase the pre-wired cable also because if they don't, then they're going to have to charge you for all of the time it takes for them to custom wire a harness like this. And that will cost you a real fortune. Of course, they might be looking for some additional billable work. So in conclusion, we don't want to deny the professional panel builder their work. But if you can successfully install these electronic components in your panel yourself, that makes the building of your aircraft so much more rewarding. 